stuff. It is official. Full-time filmmaker has been acquired by Yours truly. None other than Landon, by the way. We wanted to make a video to address the elephant in the room. We've been seeing the comments for months now. Where's Parker? Who's this guy? You know him. He's been on the channel for many years. As of three days ago, from the time of this video, Landon is officially the owner of Full Time Filmmaker. After eight years of running this amazing business and creating content for all of you, we are transitioning hands to a capable former employee who is now the owner of Full Time Filmmaker. And we just wanted to make this video to address what that looks like, how we got here, yeah. and kind of the future of what Full Time Filmmaker holds. For probably the first four or five years of Full Time Filmmaker, I was putting in 60, 70 hour weeks, and I just got to a point where I needed more time with my family. I had two kids at that time. And as much as I love this business and love creating and love sharing content with all of you, I was just at a point in my life where I needed a change. And so it was about four years ago that we brought Landon on. You guys have seen him on the channel. He was employed at Full Time Filmmaker for about two years. Uh, he just killed it. I consider Landon more talented than I am at both shooting and editing video production. We're just different in our styles, sure. but I always thought, man, this guy is so talented. I really think he could take over the full-time filmmaker brand. And I told him that in our first interview. You did, yeah. And I, I mean, we talked about this. At the time, I was not ready. I was just this little kid, yeah. like, yeah, I get to cool, work with full-time filmmaker. It's such a cool job. But I, I was emotionally, mentally, whatever, just not ready to even take that baton from you, so. But he worked awesome for two years and added a ton of value. He was on a lot of YouTube videos. He built mini courses inside yeah. of full-time filmmaker. He made a lot of cool content over the yeah. last four years. No, it was, it was an amazing run with the time he was there. But he got to a point, he's ambitious. He wanted to start his own business. And I'm like, great, go spread your wings, fly, go do something awesome. And he did. He built what we're in now as his studio yeah. and built his own team, his own production company. And in the meantime, those two years that he left, I started scaling back with full-time filmmaker. I now have three kids. I'm just kind of getting overwhelmed with family life. I love the business, but it's too much for me to handle to keep it up to what I know it can be and should be without me pouring in 50, 60 hours a week. I just wasn't willing to do it anymore. I wanted to focus more of my time on family and other passions. And so I couldn't keep full-time filmmaker being what I wanted to. So that was why we brought on other content creators. But eventually I just decided, you know what, I think we're just gonna let full-time filmmaker slowly fizzle out over time. So the past year, it's kind of been coming down a little bit in activity. I'm just not on camera as much. And, and then we met up probably six months ago. Yeah. And he invited me on to one of his podcasts just to kind of tell my background story. And in that, after that podcast, we just kind of caught up and we're like, you know, where are you at with things? Where am I at? And we just seemed to align. It seemed like Landon was now in a place where he was more willing and wanting to take on a task like full-time filmmaker. I was more in a position where I'm like, look, I'm not gonna be able to keep this going for long. Well, I mean, well, even, even before we had that conversation, you would text me on occasion and be like, why haven't you made an online course yeah. yet? Like, why aren't you into education I'm yet? like, you're too talented not to be <laughs> sharing your talents and building your own products. And so I just, I, I hadn't created that yet. And then once we got into that conversation of you saying, hey, I'm, I think I'm ready to take a step back. I hadn't created anything that could have been competitive with FTF at yeah. that point. And it was just, it was the most natural way we could have made that transition. And so yeah. it worked out perfectly. So Landon's pretty much been running the business for the past few months. And then probably the last two or three months, I said, Hey, I think this is a pretty good fit. Do you feel the same way? And he's like, yeah, I'm feeling good about this. So I said, let's drop some papers and let's make it official. And so probably the last three months, we've been kind of negotiating, going back and forth on terms. So it was as of yeah three days ago that we officially signed all the docs and this business is now owned by Landon, by the way. Now, I still will be involved from time to time. I'm not gonna disappear completely. It's up to Landon, but he'll probably have me on videos from time to time. And he'll so be involved, I'll make him, so. I'm not gonna be completely disappeared, but I just don't have the manpower and the hours to put into full-time filmmaker to make it what I know it can be and what you deserve it to be. Instead of letting full-time filmmaker die, I hoped and wanted somebody to take it over, but I've thought of dozens of names of people who could take it over. And honestly, Landon was the only one who naturally, I felt like could seamlessly take this business over and carry on the vision and even expound upon it. I want to give credit to Parker too, because he hasn't even talked about this this whole time you've been talking. You haven't talked about the community that you've 
built and like accomplishments that you've had. And I don't think you will because you don't like to brag and talk about yourself like that, but I'm gonna do it for you. Because literally in the last four or five, six years, Parker has built a 2 million subscriber YouTube channel. We've brought in 30,000 people to our full course, another 30,000 or so to all these mini courses. You've just, you've built this amazing community. And actually, in my opinion, full-time filmmaker is a staple in the content creation community. And so it's, it's the craziest thing for me personally to even think about taking that over and, and you know keeping that moving forward and, and building it so it's appealing to even more creators than it ever has. And so the thought of that first off is super exciting to me. And honestly, what Devin Superchamp was to you when you were getting your start, you are to me, you know? We're just and, passing the torch one hand at a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's it's been so, so cool and honestly just surreal to even have the opportunity to come up. And you know, over the last couple of years, I've had so much time to have successes, but a lot of failures and, and really learn the business side, learn what drives me, what drives our community. And it's it's been so cool to actually be interacting with you guys. And so what you guys can expect from Full Time Filmmaker moving forward are three things. Number one is more content. We have the strongest reach of any filmmaking community in the world, and we want to be able to give you guys more content. So if you're subscribed to us on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever that is, we just want to make more free content for you guys and start building that community up more and more, get more engagement from you guys as well. And if you're a paying student, if you're in the full-time filmmaker course, we want to add to that, to add to your library. And this is a big reason why I'm wanting someone to acquire this business is because I'm not willing to do that. People have always said, post more Parker. And the fact of the matter is I'm not willing to, and I won't even more so as time goes on, I'm going to fade away and not want to create. And so, you know, I wanted to hand it to somebody who had the energy and the willpower and the team in place to be able to create and be able to keep you guys in the loop and learning. And so that's a big reason why this acquisition is something that I endorse and I'm so excited about is so that all of you can continue to learn on a level that you wouldn't be able to if I were to continue to run this. The second thing here is just more products. I'm not gonna give everything away right now, but you know, over the last two years, building a production company, making all these amazing connections, having mentors who have helped me on the business side, the sales side, the creative side. I've just learned so much over the last couple of years and I want to be able to impart that wisdom to you guys. And so more emphasis on the business side, you can definitely expect from us moving forward. And then on the exact opposite side of the spectrum with content creators in general, I think a few years ago, a huge emphasis was on people becoming full-time filmmakers, on becoming videographers, freelancers, whatever that might be. And we've seen this huge shift over the last couple of years of people who just want to make better content. And we want to make stuff for you too. We want to make that barrier of entry as low as possible so you can start making amazing content. And then the third and last thing here is just more community. I think generally like content creators, we tend to just be in our own little cocoon and we like to work on our laptop or mm -hmm. computer and you know, we're isolated from the rest of the world. And then when COVID hit, it amplified that so much more. And so coming out of COVID is actually when we opened our physical studio. And as quickly as we could, we started throwing these workshops and these live events and bringing creators together in our space. And it was just so cool to see all these people coming together. We were teaching great information at these workshops on how to be a creator, how to run your business, how to scale, get new clients, all that. But the biggest thing that people walked away with from these events was the connections that they made. And we have people who have attended these workshops who just met so many great people at the event and they still talk to them. They have their own groups. They FaceTime often. They're always collaborating with each other. And we realize there's such a need for that yeah. in the community. And we want to bring that even more to full-time filmmaker. So in the next year, you can expect more workshops, more live events, more masterminds, just more community things happening with the channel, with everyone in the course. And we're going to be in at least 12 cities throughout 2024. So we're going to be coming to you as well, doing meetups. We're just excited to connect with you guys and we think that's going to be a huge part of building full-time filmmaker moving forward and personally i'm very excited for this new chapter i've mentioned over and over again but they're taking it in a direction that i just frankly wouldn't be willing to and wouldn't even have the skill sets for i mean landon is more extroverted than i am many of you know that i'm kind of introverted i like being at my computer but i do feel that isolation as well and as I get older, I realize I need to interact with people more. And so I'm really excited for where they're taking full-time filmmaker again. 
I think they're taking it in a direction that I personally wouldn't have been able to. So again, I will still be around. You'll see me from time to time hanging with the crew. I'm just not going to be full time here anymore. This is now Landon's business. He's part time filmmaker now. Part time filmmaker for me. The full time man is Landon, by the way. But I just wanted to give my support of what they're doing. This is a move that I think is beneficial for all of us, including you, the community. And so give Landon your support. He's gonna tear it up and uh, continue to help you guys learn. And I will, again, be involved from time to time. But I just wanna thank all of you for uh, supporting me while I was running this amazing business. Thank you for the connections that we've been able to make. I'm not dying, I'm not going anywhere, but as we hand this torch to another younger, what in my opinion, more capable creator to take this to new heights and new levels, I just wanted to give you my thanks. This has been an amazing eight years for me that has changed my life, changed my family's life, allowed us to be in a position financially where I can spend more time with my kids and do some of the other things I'm passionate about. It's the dream I always dreamed of, and it wouldn't have been possible without any of you. What's next for me is the biggest question I get asked, have been getting asked over the past few weeks. And to answer it simply, I don't know. I'm not sure, I just know that this chapter of my life is coming to a close. I'm an entrepreneur is what I am. Filmmaking, video production has been a part of that entrepreneurial journey for me, but there's more things I want to do in life and I will always do video. It always be a part of what I do, but I don't know exactly what's next. So we'll have to see, but we'll always be around here with these guys and uh, I'll always care about the full-time filmmaker community. So thank you. Yeah. And you know, I, I made an Instagram post just the other day when we launched, when we yeah. announced this whole acquisition. And the first thing I said in that post is full-time filmmaker and Parker Walbeck was a huge part of me being a content creator, my start. Not just for me, but for a ton of people. So not I'm not saying this just for me, but from everyone else watching, I'm sure. Like thanks. Thanks for what you created, man. It's been awesome. And you know, I've we have so many exciting things in the works and you've really just you've made this foundation exactly what it needs to be and we're excited to see where we can take it in the coming years. So Build on it, baby. Build on it. <laughs> we'll go ahead and close this video out as we always do. Kind of. If you guys have any questions, if you have any further 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 questions, please let me know.